Hi, I'm Dr. Donovan, and in this video, you're going to hear real life sounds of whooping cough, such as this. <coughs> We're also going to cover other common symptoms that you need to be aware of, how whooping cough is diagnosed, plus treatment options and possible warning signs that would indicate immediate medical attention needs to be sought. If you just want to hear the sounds, then this is the time that they appear in the video, and feel free to skip ahead to this section. However, I do think it's worth watching the whole video so that you're fully aware of what whooping cough is and what you need to do if your child develops this. So let's start off with understanding what whooping cough is. Whooping cough, also known as pertussis, is a highly infectious disease caused by the bacteria Bordetella pertussis. In the UK, the whooping cough vaccine is routinely given as part of the six in one vaccine for babies at eight, 12 and 16 weeks. The bacteria that causes whooping cough is spread by aerosol droplets released during coughing and mainly affects infants and young children. The infection is called whooping cough because of the whoop sounds that occur in young children caused by sharp inhalation of breath during bouts of coughing. Now, whooping cough has got three phases of symptoms. The first lasts approximately a week to two weeks, and it's characterized by the development of a dry, unproductive cough and often a runny nose. The second phase may last for a month or more, and this is characterized by coughing fits, whooping, occasionally followed by vomiting. Often there's no fever and adults can appear to go very red in the face if they're coughing hard. The person may be relatively well in between the coughing attacks. Now the third phase may last an additional two months or more and it's characterized by gradual improvement and reduction in the frequency and severity of the symptoms. But it's important to note that some people, especially children, can develop severe complications such as pneumonia or seizures, but thankfully these are not common. So let's go ahead and listen to a selection of sounds of people and children with whooping cough, which will hopefully enable you to identify this more easily. So now you know about the causes and symptoms and you've heard some of the sounds, well how is whooping cough diagnosed and treated? Well whooping cough should be suspected if a person has got an acute cough that has lasted for 14 days or more without another apparent cause and they've got one or more of the following features. So the first is a paroxysmal cough, this means a fit of coughing that comes on suddenly. The second is an inspiratory whoop. The third is vomiting after the coughing fit. And the fourth are undiagnosed short periods of stopping breathing in young infants, also known as apneas. Now you're also more likely to think of whooping cough as the diagnosis if the person is not fully immunized or they've been in contact with a person who is confirmed or suspected of having whooping cough. Now to confirm whooping cough, a swab can be taken from the nose or the back of the throat. Now it's important that you speak to your doctor if your baby is under six months old and has got symptoms of whooping cough, if you or your child have had a very bad cough that is getting worse, if you've been in contact with someone with whooping cough and you're pregnant, or if you or your child has been in contact with someone with whooping cough and you've got a weakened immune system. Now, whooping cough can spread very easily and it's best to call your doctor before you go in because they may suggest talking over the phone first. Finally, let's have a little discussion around treatment. Well, treatment for whooping cough will depend on your age and how long you've had the infection. If your whooping cough is severe or if your baby is under six months old and has whooping cough, you'll usually need treatment in hospital. If diagnosed within three weeks of the infection, you'll typically be given antibiotics to help stop it spreading to others and also to try and help reduce the symptoms in yourself. However, antibiotics may not reduce symptoms. If you've had whooping cough for more than three weeks, then classically you're no longer contagious and you don't need antibiotics. However, this will again depend on a clinical assessment done by your doctor. Now you are contagious from about six days after the start of the cold-like symptoms to three weeks after the coughing starts, but antibiotics can reduce the amount of time that you're contagious for. Now here in the UK, whooping cough is a notifiable disease and if you have it, you'll need to let Public Health England know. Lastly, you need to seek urgent medical attention immediately if your child has got periods of stopping breathing and their face or lips go blue, this is known as cyanosis. 
If you or your child are finding it hard to breathe properly and have shallow breathing or you can't talk in full sentences, if you or your child have got chest pain that's worse when breathing or coughing, this could maybe be a sign of pneumonia, especially if they have a fever, or if your child is having fits or seizures. I do hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something new. And if you did, please remember to like it. Leave me a comment if you've got any thoughts or you'd like to share your experiences with whooping cough. And please subscribe to the channel for weekly medical education videos if you've not done so already. Finally, I do have to stress this has been designed as an educational video, not an individual clinical advice video. And for legal reasons, please do read the full disclaimer in the description box of the video. If you've got concerns about your child having whooping cough, then please do speak to their doctor. Once again, thank you for watching and until next time, 